In the latest update of our higher order ambisonics decoder, we have finally introduced support for head trackers, and I am super excited to show it to you. My name is Alejandro, and we are the audio brewers. So let's start by talking about which head trackers you can use. Well, pretty much any head tracker that can send OSC messages should be compatible with our higher order ambisonics decoder. Um, I have tried it with the Waves NX uh, head tracker thanks to an app that converts its messages to OSC messages. For Mac, you can find the link in the description below. And I am also using the Supperware, which is an awesome head tracker that you can um, put in your headphones and it's a USB head tracker that you can just connect to a USB port and it's compatible with Windows and Mac. All it introduces is just a new cable and it just makes any pair of headphones compatible with head tracker. And this is the one I am going to use. Um, again, you can also use the head trackers from Waves. Um, it's very easy, pretty much have to follow the same setup. So it's pretty much the same. So the first thing I'm going to do is to go to the DAW. I have loaded here a recording that goes in Ambisonics. It has been done uh, by the guys from Soyuz Microphones with their beautiful Ambisonic 013. Um, I have uh, the recording here with a video. And the first thing I did was to insert a transcoder, just to convert the signal from A format to B format. And finally, I have a decoder here, which is um, decoding the ambisonic signal to headphones. So right now, this is a very basic ambisonics project. Well, in the case of the Supperware head tracker, all you have to do is open the bridge head application. And as soon as you open the application, it should automatically connect with your head tracker um, if it is connected to the USB. As you can see right now, I am moving um, the headphones and the bridge head is detecting the movement. Well, right now it's a little bit off. So all I have to do is just double click on it so as to center it um, while looking in the front center. Okay, so now it's working. And next I have to select the Audio Brewers profile. So to do that, you just go to your bridge settings and in the profile section, you just select Audio Brewers. And that's it, it should work. The next step will just simply to insert the higher order ambisonics rotator. And as soon as you insert the rotator, you can see that it looks just like the rotator before, but now it has this button here. If you are getting your head rotated in the bridge head and if you have selected the audio brewers profile, you shouldn't have to do anything else. So as soon as I enable the head tracker, you can see that now the signal is being rotated. So what I'm going to do is wear my headphones again and I'm just going to reset the position of my head tracker so that when I'm looking to the front center, the head is looking to the front center. So I'm just gonna double click on it. And that's it, it is now calibrated. So I'm just gonna press play and I'm just gonna start moving my head and you will hear the signal being rotated. Um, let's try it out. The quality you get when listening to this audio with head tracker is amazing. I mean, you can really feel as if you were sitting right where this microphone is placed, but we can make things even better. What if I upscale this first order ambisonic signal to seventh order ambisonics and then add the head tracker? I will be head tracking a seventh order ambisonics recording, so the resolution should be much, much clearer and the special position of each of the instruments is gonna be much, much more um, clear and defined. Let's just try it out. So I have already inserted my upscaler here. All I have to do is enable it. And you will see that if I press play, you already get the 64 channels of the seventh order ambisonic signal. So I'll wear my headphones again. And again, I'm gonna double click on the bridge head, head just to reset it to be looking in the front center. And if I press play,
Honestly, the quality that you get by listening to this recording with a head tracker in 7th order ambisonics with the Soyuz 013 ambisonic microphone is just the best thing I've heard, honestly. Well, and that's it. Um, thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this update. And if you have any other questions, just let us know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Cheers.